Gemini. Hello, this is your reading for November 9th and 10th. Uh, what I was going to do was, I was going to do a three card spread, but I think that I want to do, well, similar, I want to do the fork in the road. So the first card is going to be your current issue, situation, challenge, obstacle, and then option one of what to do and then option two of what you should do okay and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe i appreciate all subscriptions it keeps me motivated and i appreciate it okay gemini Let's see what we've got going on for gemini gemini's readings have been very good lately they have been kind of looking on the up and up like things are getting better I have the Three of Cups that I saw on the split. So maybe some saving. Maybe it's time for some saving. Justice. Okay. Six of Pentacles. Giving and receiving. All right. So, Spirit, if we can find a card for Gemini, the main issue, you're in a waiting period. You're in a waiting period. You're in a waiting period, and Spirit's just saying the reason why you're waiting is so you can go inside and find enlightenment inside yourself so that you can get a different perspective on all that's going around. It's like being able to have an omnis omniscient point of view. Let's, uh, get, let's go get another card on the hangman. Ooh. All right. <clears throat> We have the strength card, Leo. Nice. And we have the seven of wands. So this is all about defending yourself, defending what you believe in, standing up for what you believe in, and having the courage and the strength to carry on through this, through this waiting period. The waiting period with the hangman feels kind of like you're sacrificing something for something else. Um, that That's what this card is about, is about the sacrifices that you make to make other people's lives and, and your life better. Okay, let's do option one for the hangman. What can we do with this hang hangman? Spirit for Gemini. Wheel of Fortune. Nice, nice. We can sit back and let Spirit take the lead with Wheel of Fortune. We can let them take the driver's seat and drive for a while. Will of Fortune's all about lady luck, being on your side. Things that may be karmic really have no influence with the Will of Fortune. It's just, it's, it's a sporadic fate. It's something good, though. Very good. Okay, and then let's see what the outcome would be for letting spirit handle it. Whoa. Sorry. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Nine of Pentacles. Nice, nice. Nine of Pentacles having to do with supporting yourself, being um, self-sufficient. So you can handle this on your own. I'm going to make a side note. <clears throat> not for everybody. Not for everybody. But the Nine of Pentacles can mean the nine months of pregnancy too. That might be in the mix. I don't know. It's your story. But normally, I look at the Nine of Pentacles as being very independent. Independent soul. Let's see about option number two. Option number two. What do we have? Oh. Cards go flying. We have the Cancer card. So... We've got victory on option number two, too. Victory with hard work. Victory with hard work. Let's see what the outcome. Judgment. Forgiveness. Forgiveness, moving on, re receiving first aid, 
from the heavens. This card, the chariot, tells you to keep on trucking. Keep on trucking on. This option right here is almost, it's almost very similar. It's funny because I've not had one that's very similar. Um, but this is very similar because this is like letting go of the wheel and letting spirit drive. And then this is driving. This is traveling. This is going somewhere. <clears throat> card of um sometimes associated with Sagittarius that judgment card let's get a couple of energy cards we do have some conflicts on the bottom of the deck some five of swords energy <clears throat> some conflicts some arguing let's see what do we get for Gemini get for Gemini Rest and rejuvenation. Whoa. <laughs> Major Lee flew out of the day. Victory. 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 This is your Six of Wands. It's your Six of Wands. That's your victory. And that's the issue, really? We just have to wait on a victory? Okay. Get another card. There we go. <laughs> patience, patience. Which is what I think of when I see judgment. I think of patience. And has the number 16. The number 16 might mean something to you all. There's 16, 28, and 19. All right. Now we're going to get some tea leaf fortune cards. I just wanted to mention that we have journey on the bottom. Something to do with this Cancer card, with the Chariot, and then Journey. Let's get some tea leaf cards. Kind of in a bag, and I just do like this to get them out. One, <clears throat> two, three, four. Five, six, six scales, okay. We'll be dealing with the Libra. We've got the scales. <clears throat> Keep your life in balance. Keep your life in balance with the scales. Beetle, good fortune. Good fortune. That's good. That's promising. Fair woman, dealings or relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. Fair woman. Carrot. Wow. <laughs> I've never seen this one. Opportunity or windfall. Woo. So there's going to be some kind of faded thing that's going to come into your life if you just trust spirit. Surrender and trust spirit. For the meantime, broken ring. Parting ways in either romance or business. Parting ways in either romance or business. Part of the journey. It's there with the chariot. It's part of the journey. Then we have purse. Pay attention to your finances. Pay attention to your finances. Okay, Gemini. Hope that helped you out. Hope that gave you some insight on what's going on with you. We're going to get a guardian angel card now. And wrap the reading up. <clears throat> And we get Angel of Grounding. Angel of Grounding. And I always say this when you get this card. Look up the documentary on YouTube called Earthing. It's Earth and then I-N-G. It's really good. It talks about the benefits of grounding yourself. Um, and I mean, it's awesome. It's an awesome show. Okay, you are, you are a grounded spiritual being who is well-balanced and serene. Um, you received this card because the angel of grounding noticed you're having difficulties with being grounded right now. When you are not grounded, you become disconnected with yourself and those around you. So go out. Go out into the woods. Go out with your shoes off, walking in the grass. If you don't have access to 
that type of grounding. You can meditate. There are certain meditations. There are some meditations that are not for grounding, that are for getting out of your body. This is this means not. <laughs> this means get the meditations that are specifically for grounding. Okay. Thank you, Gemini.